39 Jakot section 1 This is the ordinance of the Torah. Rabbi Yussi draws a distinction between the Torah itself that is Zir Enpin and the law of the Torah that is Malchut. Rabbi Yehuda says that the verse and this is the Torah means a union of total perfection including male and female but the verse this is the ordinance of the Torah means Malchut without Zir Enpin 1 and Hashem spoke to Moses and Aaron saying this is the ordinance of the Torah which Hashem has commanded Bimit Bar 191 to 2 Rabbi Yussi opened the discussion saying and this is the Torah which Moses set before the children of Israel Devarim 444 come and behold the words of the Torah are holy lofty and sweet as it is written more to be desired are they than gold and much fine gold sweeter also than honey Tehillim 1911 it is as if whoever studies the Torah stands every day at Mount Sinai and receives the Torah this is what it says this day you are become a people Devarim 279 and it Friends have already set the explanation to it is written here this is the ordinance of the Torah and it is also and this is the Torah but it is not written the ordinance what is the difference between this and that he responds it is a lofty secret and that is what we learn the words and this is the Torah are to show that all is in one unison and to unite the congregation of Israel that is Malchut with the Holy One blessed be he that is Zeir and so that all will be one. Therefore and this is the Torah why is there the addition of and head Bob to this it is only to show that as we are taught all is one without division the words and this indicate the general and the particular namely male and female combined together since Bob is male that is Zeir and which is general and this is female meaning Malchut which is particular therefore it is assuredly written and this is the Torah to indicate Zeir and and the Mukta in one unison however this. Without the additional Bob is specifically the ordinance of the Torah which is Malchut that is considered the ordinance and it emanates from Zeir Anpin which is considered the Torah but is not the Torah itself which is Zeir Anpin it is only the law of the Torah the decree of Torah which is Malchut 3 come and behold it is written this is that which belongs to the love it's Bimid Bar 824 it is not written and this with the Bob since they emerge from the side of judgment which is from the left side and from the side of Malchut that is erected from the left and not from the angle of compassion which is Zeir Anpin therefore this it is written without a Bob meaning Malchut without Zeir Anpin Rabbi Yehuda said yet it is written and this due to them that they may live Bimid Bar 419 here this is with the Bob and it is said about the love it's and yet you say that the Levites are the aspect of this and not of and this he said to him it is most certainly so that they are in the aspect of and this the scripture proves that whoever holds on to deadly poison spices but does not blend into it life-giving spices will certainly die therefore it is written and this due to them that they may live meaning that this which is the secret of Malchut considered the tree of death should join with Bob which is Zeir and the tree of life and not die but this is because the spice of life is mixed with it therefore and this due to them that they may live and not die since they require and this and not this therefore the verse and this is the Torah indicates that it really is actually in one union a union of total perfection male and female in one inclusion that is the secret of Bob hey however this alone without the Bob is a hey alone without a Bob that is Malchut without Zeir and about this it is written this is the ordinance of the Torah section to a man pulled off his shoe the rabbis discuss the preceding verse and also the verse that speaks about redeeming and exchanging and sealing the bargain by means of the removal of the shoe. Rabbi Laser cites God's commandment to Moses to take off his shoes, meaning that he commanded him to separate from his wife and join the Sheshanah. Instead, he says that whoever takes the shoe sends the one who gave him the shoe to another world, and that whenever someone draws off his shoe and gives it to another in order to seal a transaction, he is doing this by a decree from above. Rabbi Laser mentions the drawing off of the sandal at the time of Levi's marriage as well, and explains that the widow accepts the shoe to indicate that her dead husband returns among the living. The conclusion to be drawn is that the exchange of the shoe is not just an agreed consensus, but is in fact indicating support from the higher grades. For Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Abba, Rabbi Laser, and Rabbi Yitzhak were in the house of Rabbi Pinchas Ben Yahir. Rabbi Pinchas spoke to Rabbi Shimon, saying, "I beg of you." Who are appointed from above to speak openly about that which no other person was permitted to speak, say something new about this passage. He said to him, Which passage is it? He said to him, This is the ordinance of the Torah. Bimid bar 192. He said to him, Here are the other friends, let them speak. He told his son, Rabbi Laser, Laser, stand up and say something about this passage. Then the friends will speak after you. Five Rabbi Laser stood up and spoke. Now this was a custom in former times in Israel concerning redeeming and concerning exchanging to confirm Rut 47. This scriptural verse must be studied carefully. If the earlier ones have made this consensual agreement to buy everything through a shoe according to the law of Torah and the latter ones came and voided it, we must inquire why it was made void. Is not one who abrogates any matter in the Torah considered as if he destroys the whole world if it is not a Torah law but merely an agreed consensus? The question is why specifically? A shoe was used here and not any other method. Six he responds it was most certainly according to the law of the Torah and it was done with a lofty secret because the earlier were pious and just this matter was revealed and known among them and when the wicked increased in the world this matter was accomplished in a different manner in order to cover these matters which are in accordance with a lofty secret. Seven come and behold it is written and he said do not come near put off your shoes. From off your feet Shema 35 he asks why is the shoe specifically mentioned here he responds it is the way we were taught that he commanded him to separate from his wife and join another woman of the light of the holy of high which is the Shechina 8 that shoe is explained in another place it is explained that whoever takes IT passes the one who gives IT from this world and installs him in another world consequently everything that the dead one grants to a person in his dream is Beneficial, however, if he takes any utensil from the house, it is harmful. For example, if he takes his shoe, what is the reason? Since that indicates that he passed his foot, which gives standing support to the person from this world, and gathered him to another world, to the place where the dead one dwells. A shoe alludes to his leg, which gives him durable support, as is written. How beautiful are your feet in the sandals, O prince's daughter? Sure, Hasharim 73. The secret of the matter is among the friends. Nine. That is so that when the dead one takes it, it indicates that he passes him onto the place of death. However, when the living one draws off his shoe and gives it to another person in order to maintain the transaction, he carries this out by the decree of the above, which means that it was decreed that the possession should pass on from this one's property to that one's property. The removal of the shoe in the ritual of shalitz, the removal of the sandal in the law of Levi, right marriage is. Another shoe in the likeness of the above that is as he explains further all is one secret meaning ten come and behold when this dead one departs from the world without children this prince's daughter which is Malchut does not gather that person to her he goes about loitering and wandering in the world because he cannot find a place the holy one blessed be he has mercy on him and commands his brother to redeem him so that he shall return and be restored in other dust meaning that he shall incarnate as is written and man shall return to dust Eo 3415 and this has already been explained 11 if this redeemer does not wish to revive his brother in this world meaning to marry his wife in order that he may incarnate through the birth of a son it is required to tie a shoe to his foot that woman will take off the shoe and receive that sandal for herself and why the sandal it is only because the shoe is for the dead one that is it is considered as belonging to the dead one and he Places it on the foot of his living brother the woman the widow accepts that shoe to indicate that this dead one returns among the living through this ritual twelve that is the opposite of the shoe that the dead takes in a dream from the living that we mentioned above through the taking of the shoe he passes on the living from this world to the other world of the dead now the living man takes the shoe of shalitza from the dead one therefore the dead one walks among the living in that shoe. For in that case the living wife would have led the dead from the other world to this world among the living for he who would have incarnated in the son that would have been born from that marriage but now that he does not want to marry her and the wife takes him to her to indicate that the woman is the crown of her husband which is the shechina she accepts him and takes him to her thirteen there is a requirement to throw that shoe on the ground to indicate that the body of the dead one has. Come and the Holy One blessed be he will have compassion for him and accept him into the other world at this time or sometime later in addition the striking of the sandal from the hands of the wife to the ground comes to show that this dead one will be resurrected
mentioned which is the secret of the uppermost durability 15 as soon as the wicked increased in the world they concealed the matter in a different matter that is the performance of a deal with the corner of a garment that dresses a lofty emendation which is zeir and pen and the corner lingwing of the dress is malchut called wing which also indicates the joining of zeir and pen and malchut similar to the shoe the secret meaning of this is nor uncovered his father's skirt lingwing devarim 231 so we see that the wife is called wing section 3 this is the ordinance of the torah part 2 rabbi laser says that keep and remember the secret of the male and female are connected together by the covenant we are told the inner meaning of shakat or ordinance 16 this is the ordinance of the torah bimid bar 192 the word this hebzot fam is the sign of the covenant since the sign of the covenant is called a lithus mask and they have not Parted from each other, that is in the words Eot, which is Malchut, the words A is included, which alludes to Yezid, and that indicates that Yezid and Malchut do not separate from each other from the female. We enter into the male, therefore keep and remember the secret of the male and female are connected together. He asks in the verse, the ordinance had Chakot of the Torah, it should have said Chak and Law of the Torah. What is Chakot 17? He responds, Malchut, I assuredly Chakot, and we explained that A is Dalit, and we were already taught the meaning of the Dalit, however, Taf is a combination of Dalit and Nun, and we were taught why Nun is called this way, meaning spelled with the letters Nun, Bob Nun. He responds, it is only as it says, you shall not therefore defraud one another. Vayai Pra 2517, since Nun is from the linguistic derivative of fraud, Hebon A, Aleph, Bob Nun, Aleph, now she seems to be with a happy, delightful face, however, she defrauds human beings since following. This she hits like a snake destroys kills and says I have done nothing wrong have even Aleph Bob Nun Mishle 3020 therefore she is spelled Nun Bob Nun derived from fraud which is ascribed to her the Nun the Taf is altogether composed of Dalit and Nun Dalit and Nun are also similar to Nun and Rush since Rush and Dalit are the same thing both mean poverty and with engraved letters Chakot is composed of the letters Chekhov Litlaw and Taf and all is the same thing section. For a red heifer we learned that the offering of a cow is to purify the unclean and that red means a sentence of law the cow must be without defect to indicate soft judgment and without blemish since all blemishes are healed through the illumination of wisdom Rabbi Lazer explains why the offering was taken to the adjutant to Aaron and not directly to the high priest saying that this would be improper because Aaron approaches from the holy side not the pure side we hear about the seven washings the Seven years of Shemitah and the seven Sfirot Rabbi Lazer says that throwing cedar wood on the burnt ashes weakens the energy of the unclean aspects so the people become cleansed we hear about the water of sprinkling that is for purification when the world dwells in judgment and Rabbi Lazer concludes by saying that defilement and purification are the most important rules of the Torah 18 speak to the children of Israel that they bring you a red heifer bimid bar 192 this cow is for the purpose of cleansing to purify the unclean which is malchut that receives from the left who is on that left it is the ox that is pure in zeir and as it says the face of the ox from the left side yashiskal 110 red means red as a rose as written like the rose among thorns sure hasherim 22 red means a sentence of law since the laws of the left column are considered red 19 without defect have temimah bimid bar 192 he asks it is written without defect what is the meaning he responds it is as we were taught about a bull that has not gored hetem and the bull that has gored thrice. The bull that has not gored means lack soft judgment. The bull that has gored thrice is harsh judgment. Here too temima means a lack sentence that is lower bura meaning malchut since one that is as such is without defect bura of high that is a bura in zeir and is a severe and mighty hand twenty in which there is no blemish if it is as it is written you are all fair my love there is no blemish in you sure hasherim forty seven she shines with the illumination of shakma and she is considered beautiful since all blemishes are healed through the illumination of shakma and upon which never came a yoke have oli in lane bimid bar one hundred and ninety two the word ol is spelled without avav which is as it is written and the man who was raised up on high have oli in lane two smul two hundred and thirty one what is the reason it is because she is the peaceable and faithful in Israel two smul two thousand and nineteen and he is not above her. But rather with her and upon which never came a yoke is as it is written the virgin of Israel Amos 52 and the virgin neither had any man known her Vershi 2416 21 and you shall give her to a laser Bimid bar 193 that is because the prescribed performing of the ritual is through the adjutant to the high priest and not by the high priest himself and they established it that way what is the reason it is for a laser and not for Aaron he responds it is only because Aaron is the best man of the queen therefore he would be improper for the ritual of this cow which is harsh judgment and furthermore he would be improper because Aaron does not approach this from the pure side but rather from the holy side since the primary function of the red cow is for purification it is therefore not given to him 22 every item that pertains to this cow which is malchut is in seven seven washings and we were already taught that what is the reason it is because malchut is the seven years of it. Sabbatical year that contains seven Sfirot, Chesed, Burit, Tiferet, Netzach, Hadyazid, and Malchut, and is called Bathsheba, daughter of seven. Therefore, all her rituals are in seven. Come and behold, all that is made from this cow is for the purpose of purification and not for sanctification. Although it was given to an aid of the priest that is a laser, he does not perform the slaughtering or the burning, so that no harsh judgment will be at his aspect. Even more so for Aaron, who is in a more perfected level than a laser, he need not present himself or be available there. 23. As soon as this cow turns into ashes, there is a requirement to throw into it cedarwood and hyssop and scarlet. Bimid bar 196. As we have already learned, and a man that is clean shall gather up a nine and not a holy man and lay them outside the camp in a clean place. If it since nothing is called clean except from the aspect that he was first unclean. 24. The secret of all this is written for the water. Of sprinkling it is a purification offering but that is because all the lower judgments and all that come from the aspect of defilement receive their strength from Malchut at the time when she sucks from the other side and dwells in judgment as it says filled with blood it is made fat with fatness Yeshayah 346 at that moment all the sentences from the aspect of defilement are stirred up to rise and dwell in the world as soon as they perform that ritual of burning the cow down below and it sentence is carried out in this place in this cow they throw under the cedar wood and their energy is weakened of the unclean aspect and wherever they prevail they break down and become weak and escape from there since they see their might broken and suppressed as it was performed in the ritual of burning the cow then they do not prevail on man and he becomes cleansed 25 therefore it is called water of sprinkling have night that means water for purification when the world dwells in Judgment and the defiled aspect expands in the world as by the uncle of a menstruating woman have neither here are gathered together a variety of unclean things and a variety of methods of purification consequently defilement and purification are the most important rules of the Torah and the friends have already explained this Rabbi Shimon said laser you have accomplished so much that your friends will not be speaking of anything following you since from the great wisdom and wholesomeness of your speech they will be shy to give theirs Moses says that it is forbidden to plow during the Shabbat with an ox he says that the lower Shechanah is a red cow from the aspect of Bura and he goes on to talk about the aspect of the higher Shechanah that is liberty the result of the offering is that there is no authority for the other side to rule Rai Mahim the faithful shepherd 26 a red heifer without defect in which there is no blemish it is forbidden to plow during the Shabbat with an ox and plow as it says the plowers plowed upon my back Tehillim 1293 and the lower Sheshanah which is Malchut is a red cow from the aspect of Bura she is without defect from the aspect of Chesed which is a level of Abraham of whom it says walk before me and be perfect Hetem of Bershid 171 in which there is no blemish she is from the aspect of the central column which is Zeir and that unites her left and right the verse continues and upon which never came a yoke which is from the aspect of the higher Sheshanah which is liberty meaning by at the location where she dominates which is Malchut that is comprised of everything mentioned above and the stranger that comes near shall be put to death there is no authority for the other side to rule not for Satan not for the destroyer and not for the angel of death all of which are from the side of Gehenna and of Rai Mahim the section 5
Holy Spirit and they require studying come and behold there was a time when the higher wisdom imprinted its engravings meaning at the moment when the higher chakma and Bina united together even though the higher chakma is the most hidden of all the hidden sins in higher chakma and Bina which are Abba and Ima above the Yud does not emerge from the air it is an opening from which flows a river full of higher gates that is Bina 28 he compares the subject matter of Abba and Ima above. And Yisrael Saba and Tevuna to a spring and source of water that fills up a huge lake from there from the lake flows spring streams and rivers in every direction to the right and to the left. Similarly, this Abba and Ima and Yisrael Saba and Tevuna flows through a certain narrow path that is not known, meaning at the union of Yisrael Saba and Ima above who are not revealed in whom the Yud does not emanate from the air that river emerges continuously and emanates from Eden through this exiting end. Entering it fills the deep stream, meaning Yisrael Saba and Tevuna similar to the huge lake of water that is filled up from the spring and source that are Abba and Ima above from their springs and streams continue to Zeir Anpin and Malchut and from it they are filled up with Chakma and Chesedim. This is what it is written. He sends the springs into the valleys, but these are the higher sanctified rivers of Zeir Anpin of pure balsam since it is the secret of the pure that she said and Typhoret of Zeir Anpin received from Abba and Ima above that is the secret of the pure balsam and that is what is meant by they flow between the hills which are Chesed Bura and Typhoret of Zeir Anpin called mountains and from it Malchut receives and all Zeir Anpin and Malchut drink together from that spring of the higher sanctified stream that continues to flow which is Yisrael Saba and Tevuna 29 after Zeir Anpin and Malchut drink they give to drink to every wild beast that which is written and from thence it was parted and branched into four streams lit heads bear she 210 these four heads are every wild lit field heads say beast which are four creatures lion ox eagle and man which are the chariot of Malchut they are the inclusion of all the camps and legions that are in Bria Yitzra and Asiyah which Shade that is Metatron that is called Shade is attached to is above all of them do not pronounce it Shade with sin but rather Shade with Shin which is Metatron that receives and perfects in himself the name from Yezid the foundation of the world this is since the name Shade is in Yezid of Zeir Anpin and Metatron being a chariot to Yezid of Zeir Anpin receives this name 30 the wild asses quench their thirst Tehillim 10411 these are the ones about whom it is written and the wheels were lifted up along with them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels Yeshiskel 120 what is the living creature these are the wild beasts which are four and each one of them is in one direction of the four directions of the world and is called the living creature there are four wheels to each one of the four creatures and none of the wheels move except from the spirit of the living creature that goes over it meaning each one of the wheels from the corresponding spirit in the creatures when these living creatures and wheels are imbued with that higher drinking liquid all the rest of the legions are fed and saturated and are rooted in their sources and they unite with each other at certain levels this is what is written beside them dwell the birds of the sky he waters the hills from his upper chambers Tehillim 10412 to 13 these are the rest of the higher levels 31 after all this when all the higher and lower grades were filled with abundance from Abba and Ima it says the earth is satiated with the fruits of your works of it that is the sanctified land of high meaning Malchut when it is blessed all the worlds are gladdened and are blessed and that happens when the blessings prevail from the watering of the stream which is the spring mentioned above that is Abba and Ima the deepest of all 32 at the time when the blessings are not available to descend upon the world which are Shesedim and Malchut receives Chakma from the left without the Shesedim the world that is Malchut sits in judgment from the left side stirs a spirit that extends over the world and many regiments of harmful angels dwell in the world and rest over the people since when Chakma is without Chesedim all the harsh judgments emanate from her and that spirit defiles them similar to a person who dies and has a spirit of defilement dwell upon him this is true for whoever comes near that spirit from the left 33 that is what is meant when it says you hide your face they are troubled David 29 what does this verse mean it is only you hide your face they are troubled that is because those levels were not watered so that blessings would prevail in the world since your face means Chesedim and blessings then you take away their breath also spirit they die but because another spirit stirs from the left direction without the right the spirit of defilement dwells upon people upon those who die those who were with them and on the rest of humanity meaning that the spirit of defilement expands over the whole world what is its remedy this is what is written and return to their dust but that means it Dust of the burning of this offering in order to have purification and that is the secret meaning of all are of the dust Kahila 320 even the sun circle 34 after returning to this dust in order to be purified through it as mentioned nearby the spirit of defilement is removed and another holy spirit is aroused which prevails upon the world this is what it says you send forth your breath also spirit they are created of 30 they are created and healed with the loftier remedy of another spirit and you renew the face of the earth of it since it was purified the moon is renewed and all the realms are blessed praised is a lot of Israel since the holy one blessed be he gave them counsel all of it is a remedy in order to gain life in the world to come and for them to be considered purified in this world and sanctified for the world to come about them it is written then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean Yeshua 3625 section 6 Moses Aaron and Miriam Rabbi Shimon tells Rabbi Yehuda that Miriam died because the death of righteous atones for the world when she departed the well that accompanied the children of Israel in the desert was gone at that time the right was weakened and the sun was dimmed and when Aaron died the right was broken and the sun was darkened Rabbi Shimon says there has never been a generation like the one in which Moses Aaron and Miriam all lived even in the generation of Solomon they drew from the moon that was full rather than the sun as in Moses time Rabbi Shimon talks about Joshua who labored to inherit the land of Israel but did not attain the full completion of the moon he toiled for Israel under the sun Moses for he did not have light of his own we learn that every place where Solomon mentions under the sun he is speaking about his own level Malchut Rabbi Shimon says that whoever is attached to the moon without the sun reflects the first sin in the world the sin of it Tree of knowledge of good and evil 35 Then came the children of Israel the whole congregation into the desert of Zanbimid bar 201 Rabbi Yehuda said why is the passage about the laws of the red cow near to the death of Miriam the explanation was already established he responds however since the judgment was executed upon this cow in order to purify the unclean judgment was executed upon Miriam for the purpose of cleansing the world since the death of the just atones for the world and she departed from this world when Miriam departed the well that accompanied the children of Israel in the desert was gone and the well of everyone was gone that is the secret of Malchut 36 Rabbi Abba said that it is written now you son of man take up a lamentation Yeshua 2812 about the virgin of Israel that is Malchut he asks is it about her alone he responds no it is only that everyone was broken because of her since it was for her that the breaking of the right of Zeir and followed. That is the secret of the departure of Chesed due to the separation of Malchut for Chesed was bringing her near to the body which is Zeir Anpin and the body which is the sun meaning Zeir Anpin that influences Malchut was dimmed for her since it had nobody to inspire this is the secret of save with your right hand and answer me Tehillim 607 meaning save the right hand that was severed by the separation of Malchut also this affected the body as is written I clothe the heavens with blackness. Yeshayah 503 since the sun that is Zeir Anpin was darkened because of her similar to this is the verse and Miriam died there Bimid bar 201 because that indicates the departure of Malchut as mentioned above the weakening of the right also occurred and Zeir Anpin was darkened 37 and there was no water for the congregation of it too since the well above departed which is Malchut as well as the lower which is Miriam then the right was broken as is written Aaron shall be gathered to his people of it 24 he is the secret of Chesed which is the right following that the sun dimmed as is written and die in the mountain be gathered to your people Devarim 3250 and Moses was the chariot to Zeir and referred to as sun we see here that the right arm was broken and the body which is the sun became dark in 38 come and behold there was no generation in the world similar to the generation when Moses as well as Aaron and Miriam lived in the world if you say that the times of Solomon were similar it
Aaron's sister, for he is the arm that brings her near in unity and brotherhood with the body which is Zeir and then forty afterward the sun was gathered in and it was darkened as we explained that it is written and be gathered to your people happy is the generation in which Moses Aaron and Miriam existed in the world during the era of Solomon the moon was dominant which is Malchut in her correction in her fullness and was visible in the world Solomon was established in the wisdom of her life. Since the revelation of the light of Chakma is only possible in Malchut and he ruled the world as soon as the moon set due to his sin she became flawed day after day until she was located in the western sector which is the location of Malchut itself and nothing more than just one tribe was given to his son Solomon and the rest to Jeroboam happy is the lot of Moses the faithful prophet 41 it is written the sun also rises and the sun goes down Kahila 15 and we have explained this verse. However the sun also rises refers to the time when Israel left Egypt when the sun who is Moses was shining and not the moon which is Malchut and hastens to its place since it is written and the sun goes down because Moses was gathered in the desert with the rest of those who died in the desert when the sun set to which location was it gathered to its place that is so it would illuminate the moon this is what it says hastens where it rises again and even though it was gathered it assuredly rises again since the moon has no illuminating brightness except that which it receives from the sun this is the secret of that which is written you shall sleep with your fathers will rise up to Barim 3116 even though you will be gathered you will rise up to illuminate to the moon which refers to Joshua since Joshua was a carriage to Malchut 42 and about him of Joshua this verse is written what profit has a man of all his labor Kahila 13 that is Joshua who strove to inherit the land of Israel, which is Malchut and did not attain the full completion of the moon which is Malchut as would have been proper he toiled for Israel under the sun meaning under Moses who is the secret of Zeir and then referred to as sun come and behold woe for that embarrassment woe for that shame that he worked under Moses and did not actually take his place which is the sun but rather he only had a place under the sun for he had no light of his own except the brightness of the sun that was illuminating on him what praise is that upon him if he could not fulfill completely either way to the sun or the moon for since he could not perfect himself in the level of the sun he therefore could not perfect the moon 43 in every place where Solomon mentions under the sun he speaks about his own level that is Malchut for example I have seen under the sun Kahila 512 and moreover I saw under the sun Kahila 316 and finally I returned and saw under the sun Kahila 911 it is the same in everything that he spoke of his own level and that definitely is the secret of the matter 44 Rabbi Shimon says that he disagrees with the above mentioned certainly the scripture writes about one who takes deadly poison alone meaning Malchut exclusively without Zeir and then of all his labor wherein he labors under the sun Kahila 13 who is under the sun one says that is the moon which is Malchut and whoever is attached to the moon without the sun definitely finds his labor to be under the sun that was the first sin in the world meaning the sin of the tree of knowledge of good and evil that carried down the light of Chakma in Malchut from above to below by this it separated her from Zeir and then her husband and took Malchut alone therefore the scripture says what profit has a man have Adam of all his labor wherein he labors under the sun that is said about Adam and the same applies to all those who come after him who sin in that location section. 7 round and round goes the wind Rabbi Shimon says that in the title verse it means the wind is the Holy Spirit that circles in two directions to adhere to the body he refers to the three patriarchs who are the holy chariot and says that David is the spirit that was attached to them so that they are a perfectly complete holy chariot Rabbi Shimon concludes by saying that all of King Solomon's words are recited in the innermost recesses of the holy chamber because they conceal a much deeper wisdom and people realize 45 goes toward the south and veers to the north Kahila 16 this is what is written from his right hand went a fiery law for them to Barim 332 his right hand is south Chisa a fiery law is north Bura and one is included in the other therefore it is written goes toward the south and veers to the north 46 round and round goes the wind Kahila 16 this verse is difficult it should have said round and round goes the sun what is goes the wind he replies who is that wind also spirit it is under the sun and is called the holy spirit meaning Malchut and that spirit Malchut follows and circles in those two directions south and north which are the right column and the left column to adhere to the body that is Zeir and been called sun therefore the wind is spelled out with the hay of the definite article to indicate that which is obvious which is the portion of Israel meaning Malchut which is the part of Zeir and been called Israel. Similarly Israel below count in accordance with the moon cycle which is their lot only it is together with Zeir and been 47 and on its circuits the wind returns if it he inquires what are its circuits he replies these refer to the patriarchs who are the holy chariot they are three and David is the spirit that fourth who was attached to them so that they are a perfectly complete holy chariot about David who rose to be included in the higher chariot it is written the stone which the Builders rejected has become the headstone of the corner tail of 11,822-48 because all of King Solomon's words are concealed in wisdom all are recited in the innermost recesses of the holy chamber people do not pay attention to observe them and they simply see his words as the same as the sayings of any other person and if this is so what is the praise to King Solomon with his wisdom over any other person assuredly every word and saying of Solomon the king is concealed in wisdom. Section 8 Wisdom is good with an inheritance Rabbi Shimon tells us that the title verse means that it is good when wisdom Chakma dwells with the children of Israel so they will be attached to her we hear that the excellency of knowledge is the tree of life the secret of that and Zer and in another explanation Rabbi Shimon says that it is the righteous of the world that is the brightness of the sun and he goes on to talk about those who become attached to the tree of life. 49 He opened the discussion with the verse wisdom is good with an inheritance and by it there is more profit to them that see the sun Kahilat 711 if this matter had not been revealed to me I would have no idea of its meaning wisdom is good refers to Chakma that is underneath the sun which is the throne that is prepared for the sun that is Zeir and which is Chakma in Malchut meaning the lower Chakma referred to as under the sun and called the throne wisdom is good with an inheritance means it is well and good when Chakma which is Malchut dwells with Israel so they will be attached to her since they are the inheritance and lot of Malchut 50 however more profit is for those that see the sun because they merit to be attached to the sun which is Zeir and and to be connected with him this one is attached to the tree of life and whoever is attached to the tree of life is attached to everything to the life of this world which is Malchut and life of it. World to come, which is by since Zeir and is attached in Malchut and Bina. This is what is written. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to those who have it. Twelve, the meaning of but the excellency of knowledge is the tree of life, which is the secret of that. And Zeir and what is its excellency? It is definitely Chakma, since the Torah, which is Zeir and certainly emanated from higher Chakma, which is Abba and Ima fifty one. Another explanation for wisdom is good. With an inheritance, assuredly wisdom is good, which is the lower Chakma. With an inheritance, it is the righteous of the world, meaning is it in Zeir and which is the brightness of the sun, since is it of Zeir and is the light of Zeir and called sun. Those two levels, is it and Malchut dwell together, and that is their beauty. However, more profit to them that see the sun, namely to those that unite with the sun itself, which is Zeir and the strength of all and the praise of all fifty two. The sun is dead of Zeir Anpin which is the tree of life as has already been explained also that the soul be without knowledge is not good Mishle 192 whose is the soul it is the good soul of King David that is Malchut and that is the Chakma we mentioned that at the time that the soul which is Malchut is attached to that of Zeir Anpin it is called lower Chakma therefore the excellency of knowledge had that eyes wisdom from there from that the tree is rooted which is Malchut and is planted in all directions to right and left in all those who become attached to this tree therefore Solomon the king was established only in his level that is Malchut from there he was aware of everything and he used to say and moreover I saw under the sun Kahila 316 that is Malchut that is called under the sun and also I returned and saw under the sun Kahila 911 the same applies to all happy are the just who study the Torah and know the ways of the holy king and the highly sealed Things that are stored and hidden in the Torah as it is written for the ways of Hashem are right. Hashia 1410 section 9 Aaron
are in God's presence above 53 Aaron shall be gathered to his people Bimidbar 20 24 Rabbi she opened the discussion with the verse so I praise the dead that are already dead Kahila 42 we have learned this verse and it has been explained come and behold all the deeds of the Holy One blessed be here according to justice and truth there exists no one that can present him with any difficulties and object to it and say to him what are you doing and he accomplished everything as he wished 54 so I praise the dead he asks does King Solomon and praise the dead more than a living here nobody is considered living unless he is on a true path in this world as it says and Benai ben Jehoiada the son of a valiant living man 2 Shmuel 2320 the friends have explained this the wicked one who does not follow the true path is considered dead yet King Solomon praises the dead more than a living one 55 most definitely all the words of King Solomon were said with wisdom and here we were taught so I praise the dead if nothing more had been written I would have said so that he praises the dead ones more than the living but since it is already written that are already dead we find here another gem of wisdom that are already dead means that they have already died at a different time and that they have already departed from the world and were mended by the dust they have already returned incarnated and revisited this world and most certainly received their punishment once or twice since they were already here in this world twice it is certain that their station has been more profitably prepared than those living and that they have not yet received the punishment of reincarnation 56 therefore it is written so I praise the dead that are already dead and that are already dead is precise meaning those that are alive now but are considered dead what is the reason that they are considered dead it is because they have already Felt the taste of death and although they exist in this world they are dead and they were returned here from the dead in addition they are ready to repair the earlier activities that they performed prior to dying therefore they are considered dead since they are in the process of correcting the deeds of someone who already died from these living that are alive. Kahila 42 since they have not yet tasted the taste of death and have not received their punishment they do not know if they are worthy of that world or not. 57 come and behold the just merit to be bound in the bundle of life that is yes in Zeirn and they are worthy of seeing the glory of the holy king of high as it is written to behold the beauty of Hashem and to inquire in his temple. Tehillim 274 their dwelling is higher than all the holy angels and all their levels since neither the upper nor the lower grades merit seeing this highest location this is what is said neither has the eye seen that Elohim besides. Yusha 643 that is the secret of the upper Eden 58 those who do not merit to rise as much as these occupy a place below according to their deeds they do not merit that location and to see what those above see they merit only to remain in the lower Eden and not more if you wonder what the lower Eden is it is the Eden that is considered lower Chakma which is Malchut and is located over the terrestrial garden this Eden watches over this garden and the righteous remain in the garden of Eden that is on earth and enjoy this Eden which is the lower Chakma 59 what is the difference between the lower Eden and the higher Eden it is as far as light excels darkness Kahila 213 the lower Eden is called pleasure heaven which is female and the higher Eden is considered delight of Eden which is masculine about this it is written neither has the eye seen that Elohim besides you this lower Eden is considered a garden in comparison to the Eden above and that garden is Considered Eden in comparison to the garden below those who exist in the lower garden which is the garden of Eden on earth receive pleasure from that Eden that is above them which is the lower Chakma every single Shabbat and every new moon as it is written and it shall come to pass that every new moon and every Shabbat Yeshayah 6623 about these Solomon said from these living that alive since these are in a level higher than them who are they this refers to those who have already died before and received their punishment twice they are considered like refined silver that has entered the oven once or twice and has had the impurity sorted out picked clean but better than both of them is he who has not yet been Kahila 43 that is the spirit that remains above and is restrained from coming down since that one is still in its original state and has not sinned yet it does not need to receive punishment and obtain sustenance from that sustenance that is up very high 61 but better than both of them is he who arrives in this world and does not part from the Holy One blessed be he and is not known all his words are covered that is the innocent pious that kept the precepts of the Torah and upheld them and dealt in the Torah day and night such a person is united and enjoys the higher level above all other people and all the rest are burned from gazing at this one's canopy 62 come and behold at the time the Holy One blessed be he said to Moses Aaron shall be gathered to his people his strength was weakened and he knew that his right arm which is Jesus broke and his entire body trembled as soon as he said take Aaron and Eleazar his son the Holy One blessed be he said to him here I will lend you another arm and strip Aaron and Aaron shall be gathered Eleazar shall serve as the right hand for you instead of his father in spite of all this he did not entirely fill the place of his father since the clouds of glory departed and would not have Returned if not for the merit of Moses but not because of Eleazar's merit 63 and Moses did as Hashem commanded Bimidbar 2027 he asks why in the sight of all the congregation if he responds this was because Aaron was the most beloved by the nation and they should not say that he died through Moses Moses drew Aaron with words until they ascended the mountain and all of Israel watched while Moses undressed the garments of Aaron and robed Eleazar with them 64 he asks what is the reason that Moses removed his garments he replies it is because Moses was the one that put them on Aaron when he was elevated to the priesthood it says that Moses clothed Aaron with the garments and it is written and clothed him with the robe Vayikra 87 therefore Moses then removed what he gave him and the Holy One blessed be he removed that which he granted him meaning his soul both of them undressed Aaron completely Moses removed what was external and the Holy One blessed be he removed what was internal as long as Moses did not complete his removal the Holy One blessed be he did not complete his own happy is a lot of Moses 65 happy is a lot of the just since the Holy One blessed be he desires their honor the Holy One blessed be he prepared for Aaron a bed and candelabra of gold that gives light and took it from him from that lamp that he used to light twice every day and after that he sealed the opening of the cave and they went down 66 Rabbi Yehuda said the entrance of the cave was wide open all of Israel observed Aaron dead the candle of the lamp was lit before him his bed was coming in and out so that all of Israel could see that he was dead and one cloud remained over the bed at that point Israel knew that Aaron was dead they noticed that the clouds of glory departed from Israel as it is written and when all the congregation saw that Aaron was dead Bimidbar 2029 and this was previously explained therefore they mourned for Aaron all the house of Israel men women and children since he was beloved by all 67 Rabbi Shimon said why were these three holy elevated siblings not buried in a single area and why were the limbs spread about one year and one in another place there are some who say that each one died at a location where Israel were destined to be in danger in the future in order to defend Israel so that they would be saved however the explanation is that each one died as appropriate Miriam died in Kadesh and was in the location between north and south since Miriam was the chariot to Malchut which is between the right and left of Zeir and been referred to as south and north Aaron who was the chariot for Chesed died in Mount Hor and was to the right direction Moses who died in the mountain of Abarim was in the center as was appropriate for him since Moses was the carriage to the central column that is Tiferet this was where Moses was pulled onto the mountain where Aaron was and he collected Miriam's burial ground to that mountain of Moses which was held on both sides from the right and from the left since the central column combines the right and the left therefore it is called the mountain of Abarim in order to commemorate the passage that exists between the two sides of the mountain that Allah crossings had my Abarim that passageway is attached to the side and to that side to the right and to the left 68 happy is the portion of the righteous in this world and the world to come even though they are in another world in another higher world their merit endures in this world for generations to come during the period that Israel returned to repent in the presence of the Holy One blessed be he some punishment is decreed over them and the Holy One blessed be he calls upon the righteous who remain in his presence above and informs them they void that decree and the Holy One blessed be he has mercy on Israel happy are the just about whom it is written and Hashem will guide you continually Yeshua 5811 section 10 and the people spoke out against Elohim and against Moses Rabbi Yitzhak informs us that now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel means she was enveloped by the Holy Spirit after three days of fasting that made her body weak she merited this blessing because she guarded her words and did not speak evil we are assured that anyone who spe
On Malchut means that she was clothed in the supernal holy Malchut. She was assuredly enveloped in the Holy Spirit since Malchut is considered the Holy Spirit. 70 B. What is the reason that she merited this stature? Meaning Malchut it is because she guarded her lips so as not to reveal anything. This is what is written. Esther had not yet made known her kindred or her people. Esther 220. We were taught that whoever guards his lips and tongue is worthy of clothing himself with the Holy Spirit and Anybody who curves his lips to speak evil will be harmed by that matter of which he speaks, meaning that if he speaks the evil tongue like the primordial snake, then that snake dominates him, and that is why when Yisrael spoke against Elohim and Moses, he set snakes and vipers upon them. If he does not, he is afflicted by diseases or leprosy, which is burning like a snake, as we have already explained. 71 And the people spoke out against Elohim and against Moses, they said slanderous things about the Holy One, blessed be he, according to the Aramaic translation of murmur, and they quarreled with Moses, Why have you brought us up? Imid bar 215 They treated all aspects equally because they equated Elohim to Moses and said to them, Why have you brought us up? This is why snakes that burned them like fire were sent upon them. The fire entered their internals, and they dropped dead, as is written, and Hashem sent venomous serpents among the people of it. 672 Rabbi Shia said snakes would. Approach and their lips would whisper and they would bite and die. What is whispering it is as it says if the serpent bites and cannot be charmed also without a whisper. Kahila 1011 a fire would blow from their mouths and they would bite and inject the fire into them. Their internal organs were burned and they died and these items were defined somewhere else. Section 11. The well we hear an elaboration of the letters of she and he and the places where masculine and feminine are referred to in regard to the well. Rabbi Shimon says that the spirit in the water is the Holy Spirit that elevates main movement so that the waters will flow. The important point is that in everything there is a requirement to arouse something from below by action or speech or to indicate and display some similarity to the act and then the arousal from above will take place. Rabbi Shimon talks about the well being divided into 13 streams and overflowing in all directions. So that all of Israel could be sustained. We learned that most people do not know how to call upon God in truth and arouse actions above, and that God is only near to those who do. The children of Israel said things which were matters of truth in order to arouse the well. Even sorcerers have to say some truth in order to awaken actions. Rabbi Shimon says the difference between most people and the righteous is that the righteous know the essence of words and actions, and they know how to direct their hearts and desires to God more than those who are not as knowledgeable. They draw blessings from the area of thought that is chakma. When they call on God, He is ready for them, and when they are in distress, He is with them. He honors them in this world and in the world to come. Seventy-three, and from hence they went to Beer and Well. That is the well. Beer two thousand one hundred and sixteen. He asks, What is the change? Why does it first say Beer and to the well, and immediately after that Beer and Well? He responds, It is. Only that Beer is how Malchut was called after all the waters converged into the sea and flowed down to the area of Malchut. Malchut is called Beer when Isaac, who is the left column of Zeir and fills it up since the Beer is still enacted upon by Zeir and it is therefore called Beer without A indicating masculine language. Therefore, she had high is the well is spelled he had who is the well with the Bob indicating that it is masculine language. The secret is as we explained, but the Levite he shall do the service. Beer 1823 since he indicates the left side of Zeir and 74. Rabbi Abba said any place where it is spelled he and pronounced she as it is here at the well it indicates male and female combined and the three letters of he Bob Aleph is an overall high principle he is female Malchut Bob is male Zeir and and Aleph is that is inclusive of all since Zeir and the female emerge from her Aleph which is is the perfection of everything. Since all the mokin flow from her happy are the children of Israel, although they are down, they are grasped in the highest principle of all, that is in the three letters of Abab Aleph, therefore it is written, it is he who made us and we belong to him. Tehillim 1003, the word lo is spelled with an Aleph instead of Abab indicating and not Hed as it is the inclusion of Bab He which are Zeir and the female and the Aleph includes everything. 75 Rabbi Shimon said the spirit. Also wind in the water is the Holy Spirit, meaning the spirit of Malchut that is referred to as Holy Spirit that blows in the beginning as it says, blow upon my garden. Sure Hashirim 416, this means that it elevates main and female waters and then waters will flow which are the upper main desert male waters to fill her. This is what is written, he causes his wind to blow, they run as water. Tehillim 14718, at first he causes his wind to blow and then waters will flow as long as he does. Not cause his wind to blow, the waters will not flow. What does this teach us from this? It is apparent that in everything there is a requirement to arouse something from below that is an aspect of female water by action or speech or to indicate and display some similarity to the act and then comes the arousal from above. Therefore, until the wind does not blow, the water which is the secret of abundant flow does not flow towards the wind which is Malchut 76 that lit he is the well is spelled, but we pronounce it as she is the well. Also, what changes so that it is written beer at first and then beer he replies it is only because the female that is Malchut was alone in the beginning and therefore it was said in feminine language berh when it says he it indicates the inclusion of both male and female so it is called beer in masculine language although it also includes a female it is in the masculine form since all are called in the masculine form in it. Area where a male exists, even if he has with him a hundred female seventy-seven it is written that is the well of which Hashem spoke to Moses, saying, "Gather the people together." Bimidbar two thousand one hundred and sixteen. This is because that well was not missing from them. If you wonder how all of them could possibly draw from that one, it is because it divided into thirteen streams. This is since Malchut divides into thirteen in the secret of the twelve, which it receives from the twelve boundaries in Zeir and and one is composed of all of them. The flowing spring in the well is filled and overflows in all directions. Then at the time the children of Israel were singing and desired water, the children of Israel would stand about her over the well and sing. What did they say? Spring up, O well, of it seventeen, and raise your water to produce water for everyone to drink. That is the way to praise this well, and that is the well that the princes dug out. They spoke words of truth, and so it is seventy-eight from here we were. Taught that for whoever desires to arouse matters above either by deed or speech, if that deed or speech is not performed properly, then nothing gets aroused. All the inhabitants of the world go to the synagogue to arouse something above, but few are those who know how to arouse the Holy One. Blessed be He is near those who know how to call on Him and arouse properly. However, if they do not know how to call on Him, He is not near, as is written. Hashem is near to all those who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. Tehillim 14518. What is in truth that is that they know how to arouse the truthful thing appropriately, and it applies to all things as well. 79. About the well, Israel said these things which are matters of truth in order to arouse this well which is Malchut, and to give drink to Israel. If they had not said these things, the well would not have been aroused. Likewise, even the world sorcerers who use evil things would not be awakened for them until they performed for them some veritable acts they would not awaken if they did not say some truths in order to draw them in the manners they desire even if they had screamed all day long with other words and different acts they would never have been capable of drawing them and they would not have been awakened towards the mighty come and behold it is written and called on the name of the Baal Imelashim 1826 what is the reason that they were not answered he responds first it was not within the Baal's authority to bring down fire from heaven in addition since the wording was not the right one among them the holy one blessed be he made them forget them that is what is written and that you have turned their hearts back again to 37 praise are the righteous who know how to call upon their master properly 81 rabbi Shimon said here i wish to reveal something come and behold anyone who is capable of preparing his deed as his proper and sets his speeches as his proper definitely arouses it Holy One, blessed be he to extend forth high matters that are upright, and if not, he is not propitious to them. If this is so, does not the whole world know how to prepare in an orderly manner the necessary performances and speeches? What then is the special value of them? The righteous, the righteous know the essence of words and actions, and they know how to direct their heart and desire more than those who are not as knowledgeable. 82 He responds, It is only that those who are not as knowledgeable of the essence of actions, but simply know their orderly setup, and nothing more draw to
Will I deliver him? I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Tehillim 9114, section 12. Fear him not, Rabbi Yehuda informs us that when Yisrael gather together, they receive nourishment sometimes from compassion and sometimes from judgment, and that no divine influence prevails until there is a place for it to dwell down in the world of matter. Rabbi Yehuda says that God told Moses not to be afraid of King Og because I had defiled the sign of his covenant and would. Therefore, by reason of his very own deeds be uprooted and undone on earth, we hear that the children of Israel were blessed to have Moses as a prophet among them, since it was for his sake alone that God performed many miracles. And lastly, we're reminded that God's covenant was made only with the children of Abraham. 84 And Hashem said to Moses, Fear him not. Emit bar 2134. Rabbi Yehuda opened the discussion with the verse, She is not afraid of the snow for her household, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. Mishlei 3121. Come and behold, the assembled congregation of Israel nourishes from both sides, sometimes from compassion and sometimes from judgment. When it wishes to nourish from compassion, there is a place where compassion will dwell. When it wishes to nourish from judgment, there is room so that judgment will dwell and prevail on him. This is always the case. Nothing prevails from above until the room exists for it to dwell upon. Therefore, the congregation of Israel is not afraid of the snow for her household. What is the reason? It is because all her household are clothed in scarlet that one does not dwell only in that one white and red and red and white and that was already established. 85 And Hashem said to Moses, Fear him, Hebodo, not twice in the Torah is found. Odo Alephav Tafav, which is spelled out fully with two bobs once here and once in the verse until your brother seek after it. Hebodo, Devarim 222. What is the reason? It is because their meaning is an actual letter Heboti and they are not derived from the particle ET until your brother seeks after it means that he is required to define and spell out the sign and mark Heboti of that lost item 86 year 2 it is Ag who joined Abraham and he is from the people of his household when Abraham was circumcised it was written and all the men of his house bear sheet 1726 that is Ag who was also circumcised with him and received that holy sign Heboti as soon as Ag saw Israel approaching him he thought to himself I have certainly performed that precept that stands up for them since he was already circumcised before our patriarch Isaac and he placed this before him as security 87 at that moment Moses was afraid how could he uproot the impression that Abraham made he thought assuredly my right hand which is Aaron is dead since the right is necessary to win this it may be said that Eliezer is here who is the right of the moon namely of Malchut but not Mind since he is not the right of Zeir and which is the secret of Moses as was Aaron that sign of August to the right of Zeir and since Abraham is the right of Zeir and 88 immediately the Holy One blessed be he said fear him not do not fear his sign and even for the right there is no need for I have delivered him into your hand David your left will uproot him from the world since he defiled the sign of his covenant and whoever makes a flaw in the sign of the covenant is fit to be uprooted from this world on his own of course your left that is your hand will uproot him from the world that is why he was uprooted from the world even though he was mighty from the sons of the mighty and though he wanted to destroy Israel he fell into the hands of Moses and was annihilated 89 that is why Israel have annihilated all of them his children his people and everything belonging to them as is written so they smote him and his sons and all his people Bar 2135 it is also written and we smote him and his sons had been at the barum 233 it is written but without a yet indicative of plurality yet it is pronounced but this has already been explained by the friends 90 happy are the children of israel that moses the prophet was among them since the holy one blessed be he performed all these signs for his sake as we have explained the holy one blessed be he did not make his covenant with the rest of the nations to be connected to them only with israel who are the children of abraham about the children of israel it is written between your seed after you and their generations for an everlasting covenant bear sheet 177 and as for me this is my covenant with them said hashem my spirit that is upon you shall not depart out of your mouth yeshayah 5921 blessed be hashem forevermore amen and amen and depart